Hi Sunshine, welcome back to our channel Mac Girls. I'm Taylor Ann. And I'm Lori Ann. And in this video today, we are going to attempt, 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 attempt <laughs> to show you guys how, how to do a braid out, I guess, mm -hmm. on dry hair, dry, dry hair, on day three. On semi dry hair, yeah. three day wash and go from our latest wash and go. Yeah, so this um, is day three in our hair, not your mother's, the mm -hmm. curl talk line that we just did. And it's like two o'clock in the morning right now. We were like, you know what? Let's do braid outs. Why, Why go to not? bed? Let's do a braid out. Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> you guys have been saying you want to see it on our channel. We don't do braid outs mm -mm. ever. We don't know how. Number one, it's not like I'm not interested. I, I like braid outs. So um, even with my know? hair, yeah, I do. Oh. Even when I was younger and the straightening comb days. And then as my hair was relaxed and it was longer, um, when I was older, I would do braid outs, so to speak, or just like, I don't I guess, I don't know, now we have these names, like braid outs and twist outs and all that, but back then, I literally just braided my hair at night. Um, so I guess it was a braid out because I like that crimpy kind of braid look. Okay. So I, I like it, and as my hair has gotten longer, I would like to achieve that look, but simply don't know how. So we're doing this with the intentions of like some critique, because we really are going in a blank slate. We have no idea what we're doing. So um, we need your critique, so. Yeah. Like, I've done um, it a few times before, but it doesn't get me past a day, even when I, like, unbraid it, because it, my hair just poofs. It just poofs right to an afro. My hair does not hold a braid-out pattern okay. at all, and I think that's because, like, I already have a distinct curl pattern. You have a distinct curl pattern, mm -hmm. so you guys are going to see. My hair probably won't look much different than this when I'm done. Yeah. Like you we've know. seen different videos that say, you know, do it on a old wash and go mm -hmm. to give some more life so but because my hair has such a distinct curl pattern i think it's the braid pattern is going to get mixed in because it seems like it always resorts back to its natural curl pattern mm -hmm. i don't know if you should have been soaking wet but then when it's soaking wet it's super super curly yeah so i don't know i'm going to, it's wet it's completely dry now and then i'm going to we have plenty of water we on have yeah we have, we have two water bottles ready to yeah. go so <laughs> i guess when we say if you want to see this in Please come back, so whatever we say. Please keep watching. Please come back. <laughs> Please keep watching. Come back another day. So now <laughs> we may be around. Um, when that happens, and then the, then you see us back again. Maybe I'll just start wetting the whole head. It's kind of so the water can soak yeah. in. And then you said part, last time I think I parted it down the middle, and that was a just permanent part. So I didn't like that. So I'm going to part it to the side now because I kind of yeah. I said that don't way. like part like you know put part down the middle because you don't like the part and braid the braids in yeah. with the part. I'm like, no, like I want mine to the side, so I'm going to braid it okay. to the side so it falls on the side. Because mm -hmm. I feel like with braid outs, you can't do a lot of manipulation because okay. like they want to like frizz really bad. I don't know. Yeah, we don't know. What are you going to use? Yeah, this is not okay. really like a teaching tutorial because mm -mm. we don't know what we're doing. You're you guys just, are going to teach us. You're just you're watching. Watch and critique what we're doing, okay? Yeah. <laughs> so in the comments, we need lots of comments. We need lots of critique. Yeah. Okay, all right. So what I'm going to what use is... Um, the As I Am brand, and I guess it's not new. I thought it was new because we got it from New York Fashion Week, but it must have been around. But anyway, this is the As I Am Twist Defining Cream, and the directions on here say use it with a um, after you put the leave-in in. So once I spray my hair all over, I will just kind of squirt this in my hand and just rub it together and put it through my hair. But I'm not going to do this every section and then do this every section. I will put this all over my head and then I will do this section by section. Okay. And this is, what, yeah, the twist defining cream. Okay. So for me, I was looking for something that was going to give my hair moisture, shine, and hold that's going to hold the pattern. So this is what I came up with. The Curly Chic, the Your Curls Defined Curling Cream. We did a one and done wash and go on this and I remember you were like tugging and pulling. Mm -hmm. and so this does have a hold on it, yeah. which is what I'm looking for the most. It had a hold, in my not a cast, out. but a hold, so that was really good. Yeah. Yeah. I like yeah. That. So we're going to see what this does on my hair. Okay. All right. So if you want to see us attempt to do some braid outs on this dry hair right now. Then come back whenever you feel like it. <laughs> then what would you say? <laughs> like, like, then, then please come back. <laughs> please come back. <laughs> then please keep watching. <laughs> please keep watching. Okay. Okay. So first things first. The beginning of our water. Water. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, we already kind of started... Um, spraying our hair off camera a little bit because it's just a lot of dry hair right it's now. a lot of dry hair. So is that one of the things that you have to do? Who does it on wet hair? Who does it on dry? Mm -hmm. What do you suggest for our texture? What would you do it on? You guys, you know, watching this, you guys know us now. You know our hair. You know how it reacts pretty much. So different lengths, different textures, kind of, sort of. Mm -hmm. What would you do? All right, so I'm going to... Section this part off. I already sectioned off my bangs. 
because I'm going to braid that separately. Um, we do not know how to do flat twists or flat braids no. or corn rolls. Um, I saw someone's post today. She was like that she's part of like the 5% of black girls that can't do like corn rolls or whatever. So I guess we're in that category too because I can't braid to my head. I can't twist to my head. I can't do any of that. Yeah, no. I never... I. Years ago, I used to know how to kind of French you braid. I used to French braid my I hair. Yeah, yeah, I did. Not really my own. I couldn't do that, but I attempted to, but not really that great of a job. All right. Okay. So our hair was dry, but we're wetting it significantly. Mm -hmm. but, so I don't know what the difference between this is and doing it as like, you know, fresh out the shower because our hair is wet, but yeah. there is already product in our hair. There is. I'm not sure how many braids I'm going to do. We should have just started off with a clean head, but we probably it's just practice. Work. Kind of. Probably. Hopefully it's good. Because okay. it's like the way we learn products and learn what goes with what and learn the amount because people sometimes don't know how to do wash and goes, which is kind of unique to me and strange. I'm like, really? Because to me it's the simplest thing. But, you know, that's why I hate that word easy. Um, was it you that told me that or was it a classroom that you guys were in growing up where a teacher banned the word from the classroom easy when kids say that's easy making other kids feel stupid so I don't like saying that word that's easy because what might be easy to me may be the most difficult thing to somebody else and to me this is very taxing tonight I have no idea but you guys might be are you serious y'all don't know how to do braid outs no we don't mm -hmm. so it's not easy to us this is difficult yeah and um Maybe some people like don't find wash and goes hard. It's just the results. Like braid outs aren't hard. The results just don't last for me. So that's why I don't do them. So maybe yeah. like I feel like my hair isn't meant for braid outs and twist outs. And so maybe some people feel like that about wash and goes. They just don't like the results yeah. of wash and goes in their hair. Maybe their curls aren't as defined or. I think that's what enough if... of a part. Yeah. Okay. Um, so. right. Unless. A couple like I don't know a couple more inches over a couple more strands <laughs> over to the side so okay. I know the more braids you do like the smaller the the wave and the the less braids you do the bigger the yeah the I wave. just want a different completely different pattern from what my hair normally does I want it to look different I don't want it to get mixed up and lost with my distinct curl pattern I want it to look like I braided my hair All right, so this product's smoothing in nicely. Um, I don't know if this section. Are you already starting the sections? Yeah. Okay. I don't know if this section is too small. Let's see. We'll see. We'll see, y'all. Again, mm -hmm. trial and error. Last time I did three and three when we did this. Oops. Sorry. It's okay. It's probably going to be a lot of that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's not a lot of space. All right, a lot of maneuvering. Um, that's why I started on this side of my head. Okay. That was so smart. I figured we wouldn't start on the same side of our heads. Oh, but we're actually going to end up on the same side. <laughs> that was probably, yeah, do you disregard that comment? I started on the wrong side. Oh, well. I thought I was doing something. You attempted to. I tried, I tried, I tried. Oh, I guess we start in the back, right? That's where I'm starting. I don't know how everybody else starts, girl. I think that's a big enough section, I think. I don't know how big it should be. I don't want a great big section because the bigger the section, the more my curl pattern will be well, in it. Yeah, that right. or like the more it'll be like a little poof. There won't right. be like a wave in it. Okay. And then I always find that... Oh, actually, these sections are pretty even. There's always okay. a section that comes out smaller. Okay. So, like, I always have to grab pieces of hair from, like, another string that's going. Yeah. Because there's always a string that comes out short. Use this comb. Lots of utensils. <laughs> lots, lots of cutlery lots on of, the table. Lots, lots of things on the table. Lots of cutlery. <laughs> okay, that's pretty <laughs> tangled. All right, so going in with the As I Oops. Am Twist Defining Cream. It smells so good. Yep, see there's a straggler now. It's a short one. Okay. I gotta take some from another piece yeah. to be able to continue to it burn. It so good. Yeah. Typical, original smell of As, as I Am. Oh, it's nice and creamy. Oops, I do Very know. nice. And this one says shine too. It's going to get lots of shine. I have shine. Oh, you know what I used to do? I used to put rollers at the bottom because my ends are always like funny money acting. Okay. So I always put like little rollers at the end of my hair. I think those are underneath the table. <laughs> I may have to take a dye for them because like my ends. Okay. Oh, this will this end curl. This one wanted to act right. This one did a little curl thing. All right. That you think that's a lot of hair left over? 
Yeah, that's why I put a, uh, a thing on it. Oh, a roller? Yeah, okay. I don't braid. You want that much of a curl at the end of a, a braid, I guess so, right? Yeah. That's how I typically do I don't braid it all the way down because then it just turns to like a little point. Oh, okay. So. Cool. Okay. Learn yeah. something new every day. Yes, go ahead. Yeah, my hair is longer than when the last time I did this. The last time I did this, I used the, I think the Jane Carter... Um, as we call it, the sunflower line. Okay, I see what you mean. Like the bottom, yeah, there's nothing to. Okay, it's dang. Um, yeah, what'd you use? You used the Jane Carter? The the sunflower line. Um, the, well, I don't know. What, what was it? It was like the, the lock stuff. Something. The lock oh, that. something. Mm -hmm. I forget what it was, but you used it. Yes. And I, <laughs> and I used the, the cream of nature twisting. Okay. cream and my hair was like a little poof it was cute though i think okay. i have a picture on my instagram where i did like a braid but it was just a great big my hair kind of like zigzagged that's what the braid looked like it was like a zigzag when i took it out okay so i'm kind of detangling my hair a little bit with the product as i'm smoothing it in this is the first you guys see me detangling my hair here in them crackles which i don't care to hear but gotta get them tangles out I'm not like detangling my hair completely because I know that's impossible at this point. Yeah, well, I don't really think it is. I just think because my hair has such um, a pattern in it, I have to try to get rid of it somehow. So I'm trying to smooth it out as much as I can before I start braiding it because I know I'm going to see it again when the braid comes out. And then it just kind of looks a toss up of it was, you were like, okay, I like that the last time I did it. And it was big hair, and you could see the braid out. You could definitely see the curl pattern underneath the braid out. And then as the morning went on, you started seeing more and more of my hair curl texture coming out. Yeah. And by the end of the day, it looked just like a wash and go. It did. Yep, the braid out pattern was gone. Was that because it wasn't fully dry? Um, that, that could be another reason. That's right, because we got up that morning to go to church, and we were rushing. And, um, okay. Oh I really like the way this stuff feels, though. Feels so good. So I'm going in now with my second. And this is another test because you some people have come in the comments sometimes and ask about washing goes, how much product do you use? And I guess I don't know. You and know trial and error. Trial and error. So I don't know if I'm using too much if it's gonna take too long to dry. Or whether this is gonna be the perfect amount. They say section and put it in each section, so we'll see. Yeah. Like sometimes people ask us like how much product to use or you know this and that like i feel like all naturals have to like put their time in like this whole thing is just like trial and error even yeah. if like we recommend you guys like our like favorite wash and go like it might come out busted for you like you just mm -hmm. never know everything is just trial and error here and that's the fun of the journey i guess right mm -hmm. just braiding along i want my rollers i'm gonna dive under the table and get them you are are you okay i am yes i am at some point. What I saw, what I'm noticing, and I, I, I wonder statistically one day if we will all be in history books, guys, where they will say, you know, from the era of the mid 2000s, is it, you know, from 2010 on out, you know, there was a trend to go back natural or return to natural, whatever anybody wants to say that's politically correct. But whatever it is, I'm noticing. I don't know if you're using too many many products, if it's just a lot of wear and tear, if it's just because of it, they're influencers, if it's, I don't know what it is, but I'm noticing people that at one point had big, big, big curly hair is now looking um, very frazzled and tired of the hair. And if this is the, the topic right now I'm bringing up is not to start pointing fingers and, you know, and saying anything. I'm just very curious to find out what this is about. Is it too much manipulation of our hair? Is it too many products that people are using? Um, because I am very shocked and stunned sometimes when I see people that once had big hair that now the hair is about as frazzled and tired looking as mine was when it had to be big chopped. And what is that about? I mean, shoot, even mine. I'm still trying to get mine back to the way it looked in 2015, 2016. That was my biggest, fullest, healthiest moment. Mm -hmm. And um, I can't seem to get back there. I even see with myself, you know, I'm excited for the fact that, okay, my hair did grow back. Everybody said it would. 
you know, don't cry over spilled hair. <laughs> don't cry over cutting your hair. It does grow back. They're like, that's what hair. hair grows. Yeah. It definitely does. When I first started growing it back three months after the big top, I really liked it. It was very edgy, very chic, very cute. And I started getting the confidence and all that. And now it's just big. It's big. And I think I liked it probably maybe about maybe six months ago. Now it's just hair on my head that's doing the same stuff that it always does. The coming out, all of that. You know, what is that? Is it hair not made for all of this manipulation mm -hmm. i don't know but like was it made for you know relaxers and um and yeah. and heat no it wasn't straightening all the time no nope. and that's why we all are where we're at now in the natural community i don't know what hair is really so was for. it made for like no product like we're just supposed to all just go productless perhaps what do you guys think just too many products what are your opinions on it Maybe the real going natural is just natural completely no Maybe. products seriously no, no nothing yeah you just walk around with mm -hmm. productless hair. Maybe that would be it. I didn't see anybody, anybody in the movie Black Panther putting any products in their hair. <laughs> <laughs> all the warriors. Doing twist outs and wash and goes. Right. Mm -hmm. Maybe we all should take a page. Right. <laughs> a lot of the female warriors were bald, though. So yeah. maybe we're all just supposed to maybe, go bald. Maybe that's the point. That could be a look, a movement. <laughs> mm -hmm. Right. It started to look like one on... Um, uh, Instagram for a while, hashtag I'm not my hair. I'm like, no, I no. am definitely my hair. My hair has got me where I'm at right now on this channel. Mom. <laughs> I am my hair, though. Um, my aunt used to say your hair is your crown and glory, so what does that say? <laughs> I mean to say. <laughs> my aunt used to say, I mean to say. Durham. <laughs> Durham? Okay. What's, what's a Durham? I don't know. It was like a, kind of like a filler word, I guess. <laughs> I mean to say it to rum. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but when I have to get your attention, I say, I mean to say to rum. Because <laughs> <laughs> you know how like, people say um? You know yeah. how I say um. And so maybe she just made it her own Durham. Yeah. Now if this comes out like according to plan, it would be great, I think. I had a little curl pattern. <laughs> a little curl pattern thing thing. <laughs> going on. Okay, so already I'm at two pieces in the back. I don't know what to do with this straggler in the front. Let me see. My little curl here. I don't want to braid it by itself because okay, it'll be too small. I'll you, put it in somewhere. Oh, so you can't throw that in with that piece? Yeah. Maybe, I want, this is not going to be a full piece. I'm going to break it down to two pieces, I think. Okay, so so far I have three. Okay, one, I think one, I'm going to have this three. side. It's going to be five. Oh, okay. Okay, what do you got to do? Um, this it's. Each, I think each side's going to be four, and then there's going to be two on the top of my head. Alright. Alright, I gotta smooth these edges because they look in a little, little busted. Okay. Alright. So, so far so good, guys? You think? It seems pretty simple if this is all I have to do. It's just the taking out process, like seeing if it holds. Yeah. Seeing what happens there. I can't hear that crackling. Okay. Give me a nervous wreck over here. <laughs> Wait, was it my crackling? No, it's my you, crackling, crackling of my hair. Yeah, the comb going through my hair. Okay. Can't handle that crackling. No crackling. That's hair a popping. Mm -hmm. All right, last. So we went, to, where did we go to find out what was the best products? Like you were looking for oh, the best. And I, I happened Googled. to grab number two. You said it was like. Number yeah, I think two. it was naturally curly. Naturally okay. curly just always comes up with like any question that we have. Yeah. Um. And they said that yours was like number two. Okay. They also recommend the Almond Jai Twisting Butter by yes. Camille Rose. That was in my hand, but then, because I like new stuff, and this was new to us. Yeah. I was like, oh no, and I just, I, I love them um, as I am, so I okay. just Okay, this is not even. One piece is chunkier than the rest. I'm going like cross-eyed right now, trying Are to see you? my mirror. <laughs> Here we go. It's satisfying though to be able to braid now. Mm. Like, I got some long. <laughs> <laughs> you got some braids. We all do a braid, hey. Mm -hmm. I know. You guys can literally see, like, Lorianne's journey on the channel through the videos. Right. <clears throat> I know. Those that are new, I wasn't always. I didn't always have this length. I came on literally after what three months into my big chop. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. Basically. Yeah. 
and your hair after I came out of hiding more or less because it was seriously it was that serious because it just it brings out an insecurity like you know but it you have to work through that it's all part of the journey and it, it makes you stronger and it makes you confident and um, I never really experienced anything like that and so um, it was a process and um, I came out on the other side but you have to work your way through it mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, yeah, but you help. It's good to go on the journey with somebody else, but if you can't, I mean, you know, we still have to take this journey if you want to. You're not going to always have it that easy to have someone to walk you walk with you through this journey. But um, you just really were really great at encouraging me. Always when I was unsure of how I look, you're like, Mom, that's great. You know, mm -hmm. days of frizz. You're like, Mom, that's the way it's supposed to be. Yeah. And and then you'd make me feel bad. Like, why do you want to have your hair relax? That looks crazy. Mm -hmm. Nobody's doing that. Yeah, no relaxing anymore. I mean, I'm sure there are people relaxing somewhere. I was like, but yeah. come in, join the movement. All right. Okay. All right, getting down to the bottom again. All right, how many braids do you have? We're probably not going to show you guys like every single braid. We're probably going to cut out and then cut back in when we're almost done. Yeah. Because um, we're going to be yeah. here for a while. All right, yeah. All right, so I'm going to try to get this as close to the scalp so I can take advantage of that Okay. I'm getting ready to dive under the table and get my rollers. Are you? Yep. All right. Excuse me. <laughs> determined to have them rollers. I'm determined to have those rollers. All right. I don't know whether to go over or under. I'm finding like I'm coming up short here, so I don't want to get down to the bottom and be too uneven with this. Sorry for the noise. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Searching. I have a few here. Okay. Let's see if I have enough. Oh. I think I have some, maybe in my room. Oh, so these are then my little perm rods. Alright. So you use those to curl the ends? Yes, ma'am. Does anybody else do that? To curl the ends? Anybody else who has ends that want to act funny money? Oh, I was getting slippery. I don't think I need to. I think mine are going to stay. Yeah, you have a, a distinct curl pattern. Girl, my hair is a little bit more annoying. Okay, I perfectly separated that because it's all meeting up at the OK Corral at the end. <laughs> <laughs> what? It's all meeting up. I can't. No stragglers. No stragglers. That's what we like to hear. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. There. All right. One, two, three, four. Maybe this is a straggler. Have to redo this bottom part. Yeah, so it's going to be five on this side. Okay. All right. So I think what's going to happen now is ah, we're both going to start on our other side, mm -hmm. and we're going to come back when we are a little bit ways into it. Yep. All right. Okay. So we'll be right back. All right. <laughs> okay, so we are back. We did our other sides. Yeah. Mom, show them your other. So these are one, two, three, four, and I'm on my last section. I did four. I ran out of perm rods. Had to grab some flexi rods that were the, oh, really? the same size. <laughs> okay. Now we're getting ready to do our, our bangs. Let me see. Um, I'll probably split my bangs into two. One. Um, let me see. Yeah. I think. Yeah, I don't know what the, I don't know what, what I would call this. I don't know if that's really gonna be a bang. It's gonna be a something. It's gonna be braided. It's gonna be a braided something. It's going to be a braid <laughs> of sorts. <laughs> a braid of sorts. Hold on. So. Um, I'll braid the front one first. Okay, hold on. Oh. This is not rocket science, but it is. It is. Okay. <laughs> it's rocket science. It's rocket science. So I want my hair to fall this way, so I'm going to braid the braid this way. Okay. Okay. So there's sections that I say, there's lots of real estate, you know, I said, but if somebody were doing it for me, they could gather in such a way, it probably would eliminate some of that real estate. So we'll see, like, you know, when we do the braid up, it will be like a section that will probably have my natural curl or it'll have been pulled straight so we'll see mm -hmm. again all trial and error we'll see for the next time maybe we have to do it on each other or i'll have to take a different angle I'll have to become more of a contortionist <laughs> who knows who knows <laughs> we'll find out when the results happen yeah. Yeah. taking my 
my time detangling this because I'm not going to be pulling and snagging from one hairstyle. piece almost there's still one more in the back of my head okay good. I have to braid farther than you farther yeah. down you know I'm still taking out this tangle oh okay I'm taking my sweet time doing it so this is what she meant by real estate like see like all of this mm -hmm. probably if somebody else was doing it they could really get it on my head but right since again we don't know how to corn roll or like really get it tight right that's that's I what think that's what the, the twisting and the corn rolling to the head you get like the every complete area pattern, right? You get the whole area. Okay. Oh my gosh. Well, do what you can do. When you can do it, you know. Right. Braiding is no joke. You imagine those people that like. Do like a hundred braids on somebody's okay, head. So that's going to be completely uneven. That's why it's so expensive. It's worth like every penny. Every penny. They're just sitting there braiding for hours. Like yeah. It's worth every penny. You used to put like a million braids in my ponytail. I did. It'll I used do to love that look. All right, I saved. Come out. Come forth. Oh, there's only one. Okay. I let I left some for this. Well, how I compensate for that is just kind of becoming more of a contortionist, turning my head over more to pull it more. A contortionist. Right. And then I just take my microfiber and just take some of the excess product out. All right. Oh, you're using the microfiber at home? Yeah. All right, last piece. I see you're on your last piece, too. Okay. trying to catch every piece and I'm feeling it as I go along feeling some shortening coming up here and then evenness of sorts kind of so it may work out at the end yeah, I think it will Maybe you might have to share some pieces yeah sharing is caring okay Good job, well done. You're all done? <laughs> Good job, gal. Okay, hold on. Let me stop. I, I'm not going to fly right now. Like, I can't separate these. Okay, here we go. Alright, so I'm going to finish this last piece. Okay. And um, we'll come back and talk. Yeah, so, well, we actually can talk now. What, okay. um, how, how, how are you going to go to bed with your hair tonight? Okay, so I'm going to go to bed... Hmm. Rock sock, maybe? Not, not, not the one I showed up here with, because that's like a dual one. It's very tight. Probably my looser one. So that's another thing. Some feedback on what do you sleep with. It's going to come undone anyway, and it's going to be kind of big and messy, right? So, um. I'll probably I take some bobby pins and, like, pin it in place. Okay. Different places to that's make a good sure idea. it stays. And then I'll probably put my sassy hair cap on. Okay. Most likely. Even though I feel like that kind of keeps the moisture in. Maybe I should just... But I don't want to... My hair's kind of wet, so I don't want to just sleep directly on my satin pillowcase. Um, I know. So. Hmm. And we don't want to do a plastic cap, because that will keep all the moisture in. What about that, that cap thing that, like, um... That Elise Grace or something? I don't know. What is that company? Um, that cap. That might be good for you. But is it going to squish your braids in place? Well, when you wake up, don't you just kind of like support it? No, that probably would bring the frizz on, right? The wedding end. Well, I feel like when we take our braids down, we might have a little bit of oil in our hands and take them down. Right. I okay. wouldn't take it down with water. I don't know. What do you sleep in? Yeah. <laughs> so the Maybe next answer. time we should do right? <laughs> Maybe next time we should do this live. Maybe. Some input. Yeah. <laughs> Reminded me of like Dora, how Dora talks. She's like, "Hi, I'm good too." Like, you know, like how are you? And then like she stops because I guess like the little kids are supposed to be responding. Oh, uh, okay. And she's like, "Hi, 
How are you? I'm good too. <laughs> As if they're speaking to her. Yeah, because you were like, what do you do? And I'm looking around like, who's she talking to? Like, I <laughs> guess she's asking the people. Engagement. Yeah, by the time they answer, it'll probably be too late. <laughs> But um, I guess we'll know for next time. Yes, okay. because I said this is a, a critique video. We need um critique and opinions, and we need to know what we did wrong, and what we did right, and what we should change. And so we need to know what we are supposed to sleep in, and we're, is this enough sections? Are they big enough? Are they small enough? Are they perfect? I don't know. All right, but so my braids are in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm probably. I'm just gonna three, four, five, one, one two, two, three, four. So ten all together. So okay. Four and four, eight, not um, nine, ten. Yeah, I have ten too. Okay, cool. <laughs> okay, I like yours. So very cool. We're gonna figure out some way to go into bed. I'm probably gonna pin these this way mm -hmm. and pin these that way, and then stick a sassy hair cap on. Okay, that's probably what I'm gonna do. And right. um, yeah. So I guess we'll be back tomorrow when our hair is dry. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna take them down for you guys. Exactly. Take them down with happen. oil. With a little bit of oil. Okay. You know. All right. All right, guys. So we will see you guys when we take them down. All right. All right. Bye. Bye. And we are back. <laughs> but these aren't our results yet. <laughs> but both of our hair is dry. Um, it's been about 20 hours. Yes. It's been about 20 hours now. Um, you sat under a dryer for like two of those 20 hours. I did. Yeah. I did. We've slept um, on it. We're uncertain. Window dried it. We believe they're dry. You went out up another road a couple times. Mm -hmm. um, so we think that they're dry, but yeah. again, we said um, that we needed some critique, we needed some help, so that's the main thing, I think, that they have to be dried. Yeah, so we'll or else, see. like, we would have wasted all our time here, but I, mm -hmm. I think they're dry. I'm pretty sure. I think they're good. Yeah. I think they're good. Um, mm -hmm. So, yeah. So we were watching a, a video and like a lot of people say that you need to leave braid outs and twist outs in for like two or three days. And so I'm like, so I'm supposed to walk around with these for two or three days. Like how do I, how, how? Those don't look too bad. Cause Maybe if I took these like perm things out and like put out. it in like a bun yeah. or something, like I could rock a mm -hmm. style. But now you on the other hand, um, I said I wouldn't have to worry about walking around because um, somebody would grab me, lock me up and throw away the key. <laughs> so I wouldn't have to worry about that. But uh, I probably, if I had to, I probably, like, like if I was going to an sock? event or something on the week over the weekend, I would probably put a lock sock or just pin them up. Oh yeah, yeah. you're a pretty face. Yeah, you can do that, right? Figure out a little. Oh, look at this little straggler, it's escaping. <laughs> okay, all right. Okay. So we're gonna do the takedown now. We both have oils here. I have the Pantene Gold Series Intense Hydrating Oil to take okay. mine down. What do you got? And I have Chromix uh, Pure Regrowth Serum and the Soften Hair flavor as I call it yeah right, but it's the uh, citrus one to say citrus the one. lemon the lemon one yeah right, the green one yeah the, the green one, one. The green okay one. so basically for this like you you're supposed to pump it in your hand and just get your hands kind of oily okay so it doesn't frizz um, I'm going to go around my head and take out all these rod things first okay that's what I'm gonna do and hope for the best okay so see my ends curled okay. we have a curl at the end all right y'all <laughs> we're good <laughs> with one piece of hair so yeah. far all right, my hands kind of automatically curled, but we did pin them up. So, um, oh my gosh, I'm so nervous. Okay, it's not that serious. I know, I know. It's so like if they don't, if it doesn't work out, then you just do it again. Uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> the that we were watching, they said probably a gel. So, so the I reason I picked mine. Again, I used this, the curly chic one, was because I remember that crazy cast it had on yeah. it. Like how hard it was to like break it up. So I was like, you know, mm -hmm. that's why I chose that. All right. Now do um, flexi rods do this or is this um, eBay? <laughs> <laughs> flexi rods, right? Do they? Do, does flexi rods hold the shape and never let it go? You're supposed to like, it's, a, it's like a- <laughs> You and all your bargain hunting. It's like a wire. No yeah, bother. Okay. Though. All right. I can see if okay. I use them every day. Maybe I <laughs> splurge on the, the expensive flexi rods. Okay. Uh, so. Ready to put the oil in your hand? Oh, you're still taking those out? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Hold on. I'm working on the last one, last one, I think. Is that it? I hope it comes out good. I know. Me too. Okay. Oh, this is so cute. Okay. This is so cute. Okay. So I can see okay. how people like do a little style thing. All right. Totally. I can see that. Oh my gosh. All right. <laughs> Okay, okay. We're ready? Yep. All right. So I'm gonna pump just a little bit of oil in my hand because I don't wanna. All right. Okay. 
Okay. Start at the bottom. All right, here we go. Oh Lord. Woo. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh. The suspense of it all. Yeah. Is yours right. dry as you undo it? Um, I can't See, tell. Is, I've barely, I've barely done anything yet. My hair is so dense. I'm afraid there's hidden pockets of moisture. You were sitting under the dryer forever. I, I really. Your did. whole room I was really like was. a sauna. Mm -hmm. It was hot. Okay. 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 All right. Okay. All right. Okay. Little result. Maybe a little something. Something. A little result. Okay. Oh my okay. gosh! How cute. That's cute. All right. Okay. One down. Nine more to go. Right. No, <laughs> seriously. I'm still at the bottom of my first one. Okay. Hold on. I don't want to rush. Yeah. And no then, rush. No okay. rush. Okay. okay. It looks shiny though. I can go get phone calls, I can go cook dinner, <laughs> tuck the kids in, we'll be here. We'll be here just unbraiding. Just unbraiding. Okay, so, um... So you really just kind of like unbraid the way you braid, like just follow the pattern. Don't try to, because like I find myself trying to pull it through, like my nail in there or my nail okay. bed. Um, but I'm just going to just keep yeah, the distinct three pieces. Dot of oil. Just take them apart. Okay. Seemed like at the root of that first one there was a little patch. Um, of wetness, yeah. just a little, yeah. it was a little damp, yeah. just a little you, damp. You feel, I can't, you feel? It feels cold, and it doesn't feel like soaking wet, I think we're okay. Okay. But oh my gosh, look at your pattern, oh my gosh, look at the wave. I know. It's so cute. I hope it really disturbed my normal pattern, and brought on the braided pattern. Oh. All this work we did. Actually, it wasn't as hard as I thought it was. No. But um, I have to perfect my okay, braiding yeah. skills. No, mine's are mine's looking good. But then, like, you're supposed to take them all down and then do the, the poofing and the manipulating. Okay. That's the part that I'm like. That's where I things because, go south. I know. Then what are we do with it, right? Let me see. Okay. Okay. That's two. On the third one. Oops. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, we have a tangle. All right, Houston, we have a tangle. <laughs> pull it, just gently work it out. Okay, I like blowing through yours. Oh, because mine's shorter. True, true, true. <laughs> this is true. Okay. Okay. Still unraveling. Like, I'm so excited. <laughs> Let us know if you're excited too during this part. I know. I'm so excited for you guys oh, to see. Tell us if we're doing everything right. Let us know. Not sure. I feel like all eyes on us. Right. Okay. We want to make, make you guys proud. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that we've that we've stepped outside the box. Because okay. wash and goes really are just like a wash and go. You just wash your hair and go. This is yeah. this is a lot. Well, you don't necessarily just go that quick. I mean, it takes a little bit of um thought. I mean, just a little bit of rubbing it in, and then you mm -hmm. walk around with a wet head. But like okay. this braiding, and then walking around with braids. Oh, yeah, and a little hidden one here. It's a little. the way um that cream made my hair feel like I was afraid it was gonna be like crunchy crunchy but it seems good. They said that cream was good for wash and goes braid outs and twist outs so it's, it's funny how a hold. brand will have a lot of different things like I get a kick out of as I am and they have the curling jelly and then I saw they have the coiling jelly. Mm -hmm. I wonder what the different ingredients are because we don't have the coiling one even though I want to try to probably see the if coiling that one. one. Probably would be a little bit thicker, right? Probably. And then this one here, now we have something entirely different for braid out. What did I use here? What the, is that? The twist out. Oh. Yeah. I thought that was pretty cool. That one we use. We'll put it in. Um, the pictures will probably appear somewhere. <laughs> that was good that you did the perm rod thing. Yeah, because I know how, how my ends go. And they act funny sometimes. Mine appear to curl on their own, but then they seem to start unraveling as we were getting ready for bed. Um, and I put a yeah. lock sock on. We didn't really know how to preserve them, but I think the lock sock did the trick. Yeah, so I did um, the, what is it, that, that Grace Elise slap cap. Yes. I did that. That's what I did. I thought it might squish it down, but it didn't. It's the strangest thing, guys. You want to hear something? Okay, so we were deciding last night what to put on our hair for this to preserve it. And 
I'm telling you, I have not mentioned Grace Elise and I would say every bit of six months, maybe we call it um, with a slap cap or a cap or whatever it is, but I always talk about lock socks, not necessarily that. And do you know that once I put on my lock sock and climb in the bed and start relaxing and of course grab my iPad, first commercial on Facebook was Grace Elise. That's so weird. I just think Big Brother's watching this somewhere, guys. I just think it's so odd. I don't believe in coincidences. That's just so weird. I'm like, are there speakers? Is somebody, is somebody bugging the house? Right. Like, what is that? That's so weird. And then, uh, what was the other thing? Um, today, we talked about it, and then it appeared. I showed you. It appeared on Facebook. And then that's what I told you about last night. Mm-hmm. And that cap. It was something else. Yeah. That we never really look up, but there it was. There it was. All right, so mine is looking it's sickening, the, sickening right now. Like, it's really? looking very good. Okay. Looking very good. I'm very right, excited. Let's not start praising our own pond yet. Okay. <laughs> and my grandmother said it's a sorry frog that praises his own pond. Right, right, right. But sometimes you got to encourage yourself. Isn't there a song that's true. that says that? Yes. Very true. Okay. Okay, yeah. Okay, so see that, guys? Yeah, I think you said it, too. I video. did say that. You said you got to praise yourself because the world won't praise you. I sure did. <laughs> so that's one side down. Oh, look. That's so pretty. Oh, that's really pretty. It's different. Say, turn around. It. Yeah, it's really good. It's different. Okay, let me hurry up. I'm gonna have to get you to slap some oil in your hand and start unbraiding and braiding. Right, I will. Teamwork. Got a lot of yarn over here. A lot of mane. I keep feeling like I'm feeling wet parts, but I don't think I am. It's all on her head. The only fear that I have of feeling the wet parts is that it's going to resort back mm -hmm. to my curl pattern. Yeah. Because that's what happened when I did this. Because this is totally a different curl pattern than our curl pattern. Mm -hmm. But uh, if there's wet patches, it'll definitely want to like kind of wash and go itself. Exactly. Totally. Especially you. You have um, mm -hmm. a really De oh, dis yeah, distinct curl will. pattern that does not play around. I'm glad you showed me how to do the oil because I would have definitely gone ham on the oil. You know I love me some products. I know you love them. And so putting oil on your hands is so that you don't frizz your braids when you undo them? Yes. Okay. But then you don't want to like over oil your hands either. Right. Because um, then your braids will look all oily. And when you start fluffing, do you use products to fluff or? No. No? no? Okay. Because the product was with the... Yeah, right. the fluffing, you have to be very careful. Like, the fluffing, and then I know some people, like, separate. I don't want to do too much separating, because when I se separate, um, that's when frizz comes, and it poofs. Yeah. So I'm probably just going to flip my head over and try to get some volume a I little know, bit. I know, I want it to look different, so all that separating, to me, is going to turn it right back to what I normally have. Even though your hair's not spiraled. Your hair typically is a spiral. It's a wave. It's definitely a wave. Which is... I think on a daily basis? No, oh. your hair on a daily basis is like a spiral. Yeah, okay. And now, right now, it's... Wait, oh, wait, there was a straggler. I had a straggler, too. Okay. Gosh, how many braids did I do? Goodness. I did ten. I did five on each side. Okay. Goodness. One. What are you doing? Separating? Um, nope, not yet. I'm just still doing the takedown. Oh, you're doing the takedown too? Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright. Lots of braids. Lots I of braids. it's the last. Okay. Or right, while we do yours, one braid. Okay. Um, can you finish unraveling this one? Be very gentle. Yes. <laughs> Don't be busted. <laughs> I will. Okay. I was going to give you the front one, but just in case. I can't <laughs> have the front of my hair looking cray. Alright. Very gentle. Oh my gosh, I'm nervous. Don't be nervous, girl. I know what I'm doing. Okay. Do you know? All right, we did, we did one braid out, and all of a sudden we know we're doing. Right. Now we're braid out experts. <laughs> Ask us anything. <laughs> I know. We're the braid out I don't have a braid, basically, mm -hmm. but I still want to to perfect my skill. Let me get some oil popping. This front one. There's always room for improvement. Mm -hmm. and everything. Always stay teachable. Stay teachable. Yeah. I like that. What do they say when I was in school? Um, be a lifelong learner. Exactly. Oh my god. How's it coming back there? Awesome. Almost done. I'm almost at the top. I'm just, I'm just 
separated each strand, each piece. Okay. Today I feel some humidity tonight, right, right there. I don't want to be too rough. I want to hear your mouth. You get one job. Thank you for your help, girl. Appreciate mm -hmm. it so much. Love you so much. <laughs> so much. Okay. Okay. All right. So now I'm just gonna. We just. Okay. Make it big. So let's lean in. Okay. This is this is it unmanipulated at the moment. My glasses. I get a good look here. Up close and personal. Does it look different? Yeah, I know mine does. It's definitely a different curl pattern. It's shorter, for one thing. All right. Okay. So now it's the scary part, the the poofing, right? Because right. you can't leave it like that. Mm -hmm. All mm -hmm. right. So I'm going to flip over my head. Get a little bit of oil in my hands again. Flip okay. over. See, this is like a chunk, but like I don't want to separate too much. Is it too soon to get in with a pick? Um, I don't think so. I almost want to leave it like this and just pick my roots a little bit. Um, yeah, I don't. I don't want to. Yeah, I don't want to do. I don't want to go crazy. Okay, so see, like these are frizzing already. This is probably as big as I'm gonna go. Okay, because as the days go on, it's going to. Um, yeah, we'll see about that. <laughs> the days, right? right? Your pick. As the day. Yes, yeah, the day goes on. All right, so then I always like cross the hill. I just don't want. I know I'm gonna start frizzing it when I do that, but I don't like that. Just go. Sure. So. You didn't already have your hair parted? I did. Now I'm going to try to uh, cover up that part. I don't like a distinct part like that. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, my, my part's pretty harsh. And that's probably why people braid to their scalp. So they don't have to oh. have it like part like the Red Sea right yeah. here like mine. So it's interesting. Okay, so now we got some length going here. That doesn't look like a braid pattern, but it probably is. Yeah, I think up I'm close. Not. Mine. And then it looks a little shorter on this Oh my gosh, side. it's so different. Is it different? You yeah. Like it is kind of different, it's right? It's different. <laughs> it's definitely different. We don't look that busted. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, it's cute. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. A little something light. Okay. <laughs> it's been hot up in here. All right. A lot of work. Come on. Come on. Oh. Beauty blender. Yeah. Oh, so. Stay with it, girl. Blotterazzi. Blotterazzi, yeah, so that you don't take your makeup off when you just try to, not so much powder your yeah. face, but just so, kind of take um, the shine off. That's cute. Okay. That's um, different. We did a braid different. out, guys. I think it's cute. Um, and now we do it again. Mm -hmm. But just with more skill, I think. Yeah. Um, I like this product, though. I would probably oh, use I like that again. Yeah, I would probably use that again. I like what I used. Yeah, I would probably use that again. I totally like what I used. Um, and I, but I probably wouldn't use it again because of the video that we saw. I think I will try a gel next time. Yeah, like mine's like bouncing. This is probably the best braid out I've ever got. Let me see. Oh yeah, I can definitely see the difference. So you guys, you can, you can definitely see the braid pattern. Yeah, there's something else going on here. <laughs> yep, all right. I like it. Oops, I'm the whole cup of my ice water. All this. So, this is it. Looking in. This was our braid out from start to yes. finish. Okay. So tell us down in the comments how we did. What you think? Yeah. Let us know. Any tips, tricks? Yes. Drop them down Drop below. Drop all the tips in so that we know how to get better the next time. Yeah. Is that it? Um, I think it's it. Right. I think we that's it. We did. we did what we did. This is it. It's Plus not bad. bad. Yeah. It's not bad. It's not bad. Very at all. cute. Yeah. Okay. All right. okay. So. Thank you so much for watching. Yes, 
and our beginner braid out our beginner braid out <laughs> braid out for beginners braid out for beginners Com okay. comment down below i made it because i know this video is gonna be long yes so if you made it comment down below i made it <laughs> okay all right so thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in our next video see you in our next video all right bye, bye. So as we just sat here taking a few pictures, literally for like five minutes, our hair is already poofing out. Yeah. Like mine is starting to frizz all in here. All here. It's it's off. It's, it's just a lot of bang, a lot of bangage, and a lot of frizz. <gasps> it's like and, poofing. And it, and it really wants to go back to frizz. It's um, curl pattern. So, so this is what, it's, I'm, what I'm talking about. It it's doesn't hold. Big hair, but I get bigger hair, I think, with my wash and goes. Yeah. And for a person like me who constantly has her hands in the hair, I don't yeah. know. Me too. Um, I think it's poofing because we keep like poofing it up for the pictures and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. And the more we poof it, the more it's frizzing. So this, this big bang. Maybe next time I have to find another way to braid this. I love your bangs, girl. I wish I did some bangs. Mine is just parted like the Red Sea right now. I wish my bangs didn't frizz. Like this is just a horrible situation. Okay. All right, we just wanted to show you guys, like, you know, it was okay. cute five seconds ago, and now it's not cute anymore because it's pooping yeah. out. And that's all it lasts for us is about five seconds. Mm -hmm. Literally. And that's it. That's about it. <laughs> so probably by tomorrow, this will be flat, and I will have no curl pattern. Mm -hmm. But, but yeah, um, this is the Mac Curls Braid Out. experience. I'm not giving up. I'm going to try again. You do that. Girl. You guys leave some tips down below. What went wrong? What did we do wrong um, other than do some few outro pictures right that's all we did it's literally all we did i don't know all right we out okay bye